everybody, this is Will, and in this video, I want to show you how to improve the audio quality of your Zoom calls by using the Audio 4C from iConnectivity. So let's say, for example, we buy a nice fancy mic like this. This is a condenser microphone that's typically used in a recording studio, and I want to use this with a Zoom call. Now, a great way to do that is use an audio interface like the Audio 4C. Now, I've got it connected to my computer. Um, let me show you a software called Oracle for X Series, which is the free control software that allows you to control uh, what the Audio 4C does, uh, the audio that goes to Zoom. Uh, it's a free software. We've included the link to download that in the description of this video. So over on my computer, you see the 4C showing up. I want to go into the audio tab here just for a moment. We see our four analog inputs uh, that are showing up, and these are those inputs on the front of the device. What I'm going to do to start is just pull this one down. Uh, I could mute it, which means basically turn the sound off. I could turn on phantom power, which in the case of my microphone, which is a more of a studio recording microphone, it's going to actually require phantom power. But it depends on the microphone you're using, so make sure you check the manual for that. Um, I'm going to use phantom power in just a moment. And then I want to make sure, because I'm using a microphone, that this line option here is disabled. It's going to use um, the microphone option as opposed to line level. I'm going to click this 48V button here, and that's going to provide that mic with power. And then I'm going to slowly bring up this level to adjust what's called the gain. This is like the overall level of my microphone. So I'm going to start bringing this up, and you're going to see in just a moment, as soon as my mic gets the power that it needs, you're going to start to see the green um, icons start to show up, and that's going to show volume levels. So you can see that starting to show up. Now I want to increase this till I get mostly green, pretty solid green, maybe a little bit of yellow if I talk too much, but make sure I don't go into red. So at this point, I have my Audio 4C connected to my computer using a USB-C cable. I'm running Oracle for X series on my computer to control the 4C. And then again, my mic is connected to the 4C using a mic cable. So now what I want to do is actually go and open up Zoom. And once I get into Zoom, I'm going to go into Preferences for Zoom. Uh, once we get into Preferences, we want to click on the Audio tab. And then we want to set our speaker and our microphone to be the Audio 4C. Okay, So if I go here to Audio 4C, and you see I'm already showing level in Zoom for my mic. And then for speaker, I want to go ahead and select Audio 4C as well. Now, if for some reason this level is too hot here, go back into Oracle for X series and I could adjust this level here uh, to get that just right. Now over in Zoom, a couple other things you want to look at. Um, I disable automatically adjust uh, microphone volume, so I leave it just where it is. Because we're using a nice mic, I'm going to put suppress background noise too low. So I want that as low as possible. Um, if you're performing music over Zoom, you want to likely enable the show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. How do we hear what's coming back from Zoom? Now, if we look at our interface, again, on the back of the 4C, we have a couple different outputs. We have these four outputs here. Um, any one of these, we could connect one and two or three and four. Those could be connected to uh, computer monitors uh, sitting on our desk. But what I would suggest is use this phone's output. So if I use that output, and then this is going to give me a headphone connection, an eighth inch connection. So I could plug my headphones into this. Now let's go over back into Oracle for X series now. I can go to the headphones mix here. And what this is going to give me is a completely separate mix of uh, what I hear in my headphones. And this is going to be separate from what people on the Zoom call are hearing, which is super helpful. We want to go to USB 1, channels 1 and 2. I want to get the level just right for my Zoom call. So I could bring that down, bring that up. Uh, you could test once you get on the call, do a test call with someone, or use the test speaker option in Zoom to figure this out. Now, because my computer is plugged into USB 1, that's why I'm adjusting this. If I had another device connected into USB 2, or for some reason my computer was connected to USB 2, I would adjust that here. Because I'm not using it, I'm going to hit this mute button, which is basically going to turn that audio off. Now, mic one and two. If I wanted to hear myself, what I could do is click stereo, and that's going to give me individual channels here. And I could turn up my mic, and that would allow me to hear my microphone in my headphones if I wanted. But again, I don't want to hear that. So I don't want to bring that level up. I actually want this off. So I'm going to mute this. When I mute this here, it's still going to Zoom. It's not going to my headphones, though. So with my headphone mix set this way, I can hear people from Zoom through this channel here. I can adjust that level. And I can adjust the level of my mic 
or I can just go ahead and mute this so that I don't hear myself. I don't get distracted listening to myself talking, but I can hear people on the Zoom call perfectly. Now, if you have any questions beyond this video, reach out to iConnectivity Support. The way you can do that is use the contact information we've included in the description of this video. The team would love to hear from you and would be happy to help you. Thanks so much for checking out this video and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.